Okay, so now let's read Clark the Shark Gets a Pet. Clark the Shark really wanted a pet. Please, mom, please, he begged. Are you ready? asked his mother. It is a big responsibility. I am ready already, said Clark. Clark and his mom looked at all the pets. Some were too boring. Some were too weird. Some were too shocking. But one pet was just right. She likes me, said Clark. Mom, can we take her home? Do you promise to walk her, feed her, and take care of her? Asked Clark's mother. Yes, yes, and yes, said Clark. Clark and his mother took the dogfish home. I'll call you Lulu, said Clark. Clark gave Lulu some treats, taught her some tricks, and play fetch with her. Best pet ever, cried Clark. Joey Mackerel came over to play. Be good boy, says Clark's mom. We'll be back soon. Cool pet, said Joey. Dogfish rock, said Clark. Later, Joey said, I want to go play on the playground. Me too, said Clark. He forgot all about walking Lulu. Left alone in the house with too much energy, Lulu did what lonely pets do. When mom came home, she was upset. When Clark came home, his mother showed him the mess. Oh no, said Clark. Bad Lulu. It's not her fault, said his mom. That's what happens when you forget to walk your pet. I can do better, said Clark. The next day, Clark walked Lulu before he went to school. After school, Clark gave her treats. But when dinner time came, Clark was so busy watching Shark Bob and Square Head, he forgot to feed Lulu. Later that night, a loud noise woke Clark. Lulu had knocked over the trash can and eaten most of the garbage. Mom! cried Clark. Something's wrong with Lulu. Clark's mother frowned. Did someone forget to feed her? She asked. Oops, said Clark. Hmm, I can do better. He tied a string around his fin to help him remember. But soon the string fell off. The next evening, Clark was so busy with his school project, he forgot to play with Lulu. That night, Lulu kept everyone awake with her howling, her winning, and her rough and tumble racket. She needs to play, said Clark's mom. You are not being fair to your pet. I love my sweet Lulu, said Clark, but I can't remember what to do. Hey, that's rhyme, said his mother. Clark smiled. He liked rhyme. Hmm. Clark thought long and hard. There was so much to remember. Could one rhyme cover it all? There was only one way to find out. Clark said, If you want to keep a pet, these are things you can't forget. Walk and feed and love and play. Then your pet will want to stay. That's exactly what he did. And soon, Lulu and Clark become the very best of friends. That is the end. And the end, the end.